Farmer, as I see something in the charts, plus I'm hearing a lot of crap from a lot of people, and I'm about to debunk a lot of these, I was going to say faces, but I guess it's just people, but faces, yeah, I guess I could talk a little jive. I'm going to debunk a lot of these face, fa faces, and we're going to be looking at uh, different, different, I'm not going to be calling out any names, any YouTuber names, because I think it's tacky. But we're going to be calling out some news, which is complete bullshit, uh, I can, for lack of better terms. People should, and especially influencers, and, and I'll tell you why. Because people should stop just reading the news and explaining the news, or explaining what they think the news is, if they don't understand it themselves. Seriously, it's, it's complete crap. We're going to be talking about a couple of nodes. Um, what the benefits of these nodes are. We're going to be talking about a couple of projects. And last but not least, we are going to be answering your questions from the chat. We're going to be answering your questions. Every single question you have, I will try to get to it. Now, so if you like that, if this is something you like, if this is something you anticipate, if you like my shiny head, go ahead and click that like button because we're going to get started. And by the way, quick, um, quick, um, quick, before someone comments, if my head seems a little shiny today, <laughs> if you can see yourself through my head or if you can see my camera and what I'm looking at and the chat and everything, it's because I'm bald, A, but B, we just had a sauna. We just had a sauna and they oiled us up, and I didn't have a chance to take a shower, so excuse the shine. I know the light is probably projecting off my head, making you blind right now, but I'm gonna bring the light today. So let's get started. Let's get started with Bitcoin real quick here. And we see Bitcoin right now just sitting above 70K. We're gonna, I do expect if we break 71.114, which I do expect we will, we will challenge these all time highs. And if we break them, I do believe we're gonna go up. We're gonna keep on going up here till about the 84K region where we can reevaluate and see what we're gonna do. If, however, we go down from here, which I don't think we will, but we might, this could be not textbook cup and handle. And then I do think we're gonna go go to the upside regardless. Let's see how this plays out. Looking at Ethereum, I actually made a post today. I actually said that I'm looking for a breakout. I think we are about to get it. We did get it on the hourly, I believe. Nope, I'm lying. I know you're not supposed to look at the five minute char or chart, but, but we did get it on the five minute and I am looking on the hourly. Um, let's see what this does. If it does break out, it should do very well. Look at the six hour. That looks a little bit better. It's, it's going to challenge these highs over here, three, six, seven, eight. And if those break, I do believe it's going to challenge the 4k psychological, then all time highs. Let's see how this plays out. But guys, seriously, do not ignore. I see a lot of people doing this. Do not ignore Ethereum. See, a lot of people are saying Ethereum's not moving. That is a lie. That is because people don't know what's going on. That's because people, because you see a lot of coins go up fast, come back down fast, but they make new all-time highs fast. You think Ethereum's not moving. But Ethereum's sitting at $3,600 right now, and it reached $4,000. It slows, slowly going up, slowly, but then suddenly, and it's going to pop before you realize a lot of good things coming to Ethereum. We can talk about that later on. The other thing I want to talk about is Solana. A lot of influencers or crypto experts are fudding Solana or saying Solana, oh, there's some meme coins, and now they're going to go to base, and Solana's going to learn, and there's unlocks. First of all, the unlocks, they were OTC, and if there's sales, they're probably going to be OTC. This does not affect the market price. Also, this reminds me a lot, the same people were talking about this. I'm not going to mention names. You know who they are. Very big channels. But they were mentioning this at $70 in the last bull market that was saying, oh, it's a top here, take profits. And I was saying, nope, we're going to go to 150 And then if that breaks, I'm looking at 250 uh, top this bull market. That was the previous bull market. That's what we saw. Called the top on Solana. We made huge gains because we got in at $2. And right now, this bull market, I told you to get in at around $10. We are now seeing $195. Stop selling your winners. People tend to sell too early their winners and they and too fast the ones that they don't. It's it, there is there are gray areas. There are different things to look at. 
but you don't want to sell all your coins especially your top coins which have been begging you to hold in your portfolio since day one because people say yeah there's gonna be the new coins yeah the old coins are not gonna move well they were wrong they have moved but also is the retainment of value it should be part of your portfolio different cryptos they pump at different times if ai pumps gaming pumps and so on but your big coins are pretty stable slowly going up giving you gains so if you're wrong over here these will still make you profit does that make sense i love the, the graphical little thing here um, I, I could draw it on a piece of paper or well, not on a piece of paper because you won't be able to see the piece of paper but i could do it on my pad but there's no point i could just be i could just be greek and talk with my hands and say over here to over here and so on great if it's first time watching here no i'm not psychotic no i'm not weird but i am greek okay let's move on here let's see what's going on looking at the altcoins we do see a lot of green we do see some red but this is quite normal i would even though this shows us a red day i would basically say this is a green day now we are seeing a lot of projects pumped here we see uh, ethereum starting to move wif we called it's doing great and i think it's going to go down for a little bit maybe to this level over here and then possibly go up and continue to the upside let's see what happens but generally speaking alt seasons are not the same alt seasons have changed we're going to be talking about that looking at meme coins over here you'll see doge which we called whiff which we called pepe we have a little bit floki we get in and out but basically we're doing very well another meme coin that's not on here which we called and i'm assisting on is bozo hybrid and i've made videos about that i don't want to tire you out i want to move on with this um live stream to answer your questions but generally speaking what's going on with altcoins right now alt seasons are very different this is gonna sound weird but listen retail has not come in yet retail has not come in yet okay the price going up especially with bitcoins because of the bitcoin etf okay now bear with me when we talk about my meme coins and why some coins are going up in just one second but basically retail is not coming in here they're starting to they're starting to i'm starting to get calls from friends uh soccer players uh, you that haven't talked to me for like three years <laughs> Act musicians that haven't talked to me for five years you know they're, they're starting to you know hey paul what's going on with bitcoin what's going on with these meme coins but they're still not here yet at least not um as we saw last time this is institutional money pumping bitcoin so where are all these other coins going to come in where, where are they going to go in next the big coins they're going to go into your salon they're going to go into your ethereum that's why i'm saying do not shy away from these coins stop listening to bullcrap influencers okay you need a mixed portfolio of uh, of old coins and new because no not all new coins are going to be in the top 10 we still see old coins in the top 10 in every bull market or every 20 uh top 20 um and then you need new coins and old coins you need a nice combination a nice synergy between your altcoins i do talk about this in another video so i'm not going to tire you out but basically what we're seeing is institutional money come in getting into the bitcoins then basically we're seeing people in crypto either buying more crypto or taking profits from certain products and putting into crypto and it's mostly people already in crypto that are recirculating money or they are putting new money in the the the, the, the guy down the road uh, your uber driver has not bought in yet new people that haven't heard about or heard about the crypto that haven't been in crypto before they're not in yet we have time we are still early we are doing great the pump you're seeing to all-time highs institutional money that's why it's earlier that's why it's uh, before the bitcoin having something we actually said might happen not too long ago and we did make a perfect call on bitcoin before it got to 15.6k we called 15.6k we said 40 to 50k by the end of 2023 which we got it and we said all-time highs possibly by the having which we got so all in all we're doing good we're doing good so why are meme coins pumping is it institutional money coming into meme coins no no it's not meme, I, I actually read this comment about institutions buying meme coins is complete horse shit. they will not touch meme coins they will not touch your shit coins where the money is coming from is very simple whales 
and scammers. Let me explain. Don't get too excited. Don't attack me in the comments just yet, okay? Whales know that retail hasn't come in yet. They know that the cryptocurrency, the DGENs, us DGENs, we love crypto. We're in it. They know we're getting irritated. We know They know we're getting greedy. They can see the, the, the greed charts. So what do they do? They pump meme coins. We get into meme coins. They take profits, accumulate more altcoins or Bitcoin or whatever they're accumulating on our backs. We are liquid. We are are, um, sorry, exit liquidity. Do you understand this? Plus, everybody and their mother are launching meme coins on Solana right now. It takes under 15 minutes to create your own meme coin. It's extremely cheap. And that's why you're seeing everybody and their mother launching meme coins. That's why I haven't really been talking about meme coins this time, even though we called me meme mania, meme season. We've, I have a course on meme coins. It's in the description down below. If you don't have money yet, there's a free webinar so you can make money that may maybe take profits and get into that course in the link down below in the description down below it's up to you no shill there's links there there's products there check them out if you like them buy them if don't don't doesn't matter let's move on so whales are taking advantage of this is going to come crashing down meanwhile you're developing developing a gambler's mindset people are forgetting about getting their portfolios intact forgetting to set up the portfolios for success that's what happens every time that's why most people get wrecked even though they were in crypto most people lose their money or don't reach their full potential profits because they fall for shit like this. It's not just about buying meme coins and getting rich of them. It's developing that mindset and you're in meme coins all the time and you forget what's going over here with DeFi, with Bitcoin, with everything that's important. You're focusing on here and guess what? You're gonna be poor. And I'm not saying you can't make money. Again, I hold Doge, I hold Whiff, I hold um, uh, some Pepe, I hold Bozo Hybrid, and of course I get in and out of Floke, and I think Floke is going to do very well, but these are meme coins that retain value and make sense. Does that make sense? Do I make sense? Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, moving on to some very fast, I'm going to get to your questions. This is uh, so much to talk about today. I just want to get by everything very fast so I can answer your questions and we can talk about more of each subject in the live stream. Let's go over here. This is my community page on YouTube. You just go to my YouTube channel, go to community, and you'll see different calls here, okay? First of all, don't ignore Ethereum. I keep saying this, people keep ignoring it. I made the post, check it out. You want to be having Ethereum in your portfolio as well as Solana. There was a hack the other day, people going crazy, okay? There was a wallet drain ongoing on phantom wallets, not all wallets, although the practices on this would be good. I warned you um, to select the gear button on the bottom left of your phantom wallet, select the connected apps and disconnect for all of them and wait. Word has it that wallets are being drained and will update you. I did update you if you actually click the comments here. This ended up being, why is my comment not here? Interesting one too. Uh, interesting, I thought I updated this. I did update it on Twitter 100% though. Sorry about that. I, I, I Look, Twitter is just faster or X is just faster. I do a lot of posts on Twitter so or X. So follow me. MC Poldy, you want to be following me on, do it now, like go, go, go right now, just, just go to X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, or whatever it decide, decides to be today, the name be, go to X, follow me on X, believe me, you get a lot of calls there, check it out, you want to follow me, all right, you want to follow me, and I want you to follow me, I want to get my X account up, I want, I want more, I want more people on X, okay, it's just really cool to diversify people just in case something happens to YouTube, all right, Ah, okay. So let's, yeah, let's do the update. It seems the main culprit is Bonk Bot. This is a Telegram bot, basically a bot to buy up meme coins fast and take opportunities. In other words, Snipe. And you should worry about all these bots, by the way. Uh, for this bot to work, you enter your private keys if you are a moron. But basically, it was an exploit Bonk Bot. Um, the user somehow exploited their keys. And yeah, basically they got the wallets drained. But also a lot of these meme coin drops dropping on your wallet or asking you to go claim are complete scams. And it's funny because it's not like they're getting more sophisticated. There's people on X and people on social media telling you to send them coins for a coin they're gonna develop in the future 
just using their address. And people are fucking buying it. What's wrong with you? Stop, stop, please, for the love of God. Like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Okay, stop supporting scammers. Sending. If I put a wallet address and I say, and, I, and okay, I have a reputation, it might be a little bit different. And if I say, send me coins and I'll give you a coin because I'm developing it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? BitLord, like, like, like Bit, BitLord did this four times. And people are still sending in money. What's wrong with you? Seriously, come on, wake up people, wake up. Crypto is here, crypto is DeFi, crypto is decentralized finance, if you don't know what that means. It's financial freedom, it's financial technology, it's financial innovation. Stop thinking of getting too greedy and losing your shit when you're supposed to be studying, learning, being in front of the herd and taking advantage so you can become rich and successful. Please, for the love of God, stop it. Anyway, I digress. Let's move on. So as I said, follow me on Twitter. You want to do this. Now, I'm not going to show these anymore. So let me just close these up and talk about Blackfort. So Blackfort, this is actually funny. I got into Blackfort last year and don't even remember getting in. I, I, I had to go through my Telegram, go through my messages. I was apparently agreed to do a video about it. This is actually um, RWA, okay? Real world, world assets. I actually had the foresight last year to predict it's going to be one of the narratives, but unfortunately, I was fighting cancer at the time. I lost my memory. I had CAR T therapy. If you read about it, it's fucking awful. But anyway, so I had a bit of an issue. So I came back surprised to find I have five nodes of Black Fort. But this is actually a very interesting project. Now, I'm not telling you to ape in. It's actually getting listed on exchanges as we speak, by the way, their token. I'm not asking you to, um, to uh, ape in here, but it does seem to be a very good project. Uh, obviously, because I researched this last year, I just don't remember it. Of course, I was going through chemo, going through therapy, so bone marrow transplant. So, um, yeah, I forgot about it. But I got in for a reason, okay? Now, what I want to talk about here is that Blackfort, being RWA, has nodes. But their nodes are cheap. You can actually get into a node right now for less than $100. It's very cheap. They, go, they, they range from $100 all the way to $50,000. Obviously, the wards are in more as you move up the scale. But maybe, just maybe, before I make a review, before I start talking about the project, maybe now that it's cheap and before they just go all marketing hype, right? Maybe you want to grab a couple of those cheap nodes if you always wanted a node, but they were too expensive or you didn't know how they work. It's very easy. It's, 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 it's like an NFT, so you don't actually need any hardware or anything. It sits in your wallet and you just gain rewards, airdrops, or whatever. Again, wait for the review because I'm going to do an honest review on this project. I need time to do it. But yeah, this is it. Blackford, the link. The link is down below and you actually get an extra 10% off as well. Talking about RWA, we do have Lingo. Lingo is another project to look out for. Now, I am, I did make, uh, I'm not an ambassador for Lingo, but I am in a partnership for them. They made the new website. Admittedly, it looks really nice. Not my taste. Not my taste. I like simple, straight to the point uh, websites. I don't like all these graphical stuff. Um, in my in my expertise, it takes away attention. It gets confusing and overwhelming. I've so I, when I advise companies in marketing, I don't like that. That said, this is extremely expensive, and they're going all out. I will be making a video on Lingo. Um, so no, so I'm not going to be talking about it too much right now, but this is another real world asset project. And I do have an interview with the founder and CEO. You can actually check it out on my channel. It's an amazing interview, lots to be learned and said. And while we were talking about nodes earlier on, also check out the DJ node SNS, which is AI with music and the AGI node, which is DMA node, which is AI and gaming. Link down below, and yeah, are we done? Are we done? We're gonna go to questions. No, we have one more project to talk about, and that is Rainmaker. This is coming out soon. I'm actually uh, doing some marketing for them. This is something powered by AI, secured by Bitcoin. This is something to look into. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. It's Deepin and AI. And this is a project I am an early investor, like a seed investor in. I'm just showing you this 
check it out. You want to check it out. I will be making a review on this project soon as well. So yeah, you can wait for that. Subscribe down below so you don't miss that video. Subscribe down below so you don't miss any of these videos. But this is a really, really cool project in my opinion. That's why I am an early investor. Yes, I got allocation. Yes, I made a video explaining what that is, how some people are scamming you using it, how some people are benefiting and helping you benefit from it. You can check all this out. This is the most transparent, most transparent YouTube channel on crypto with no bullshit, no fluff, and no bullshit involved. That's it! Like this video and bye. Just kidding. Like this video, <laughs> let me answer your questions in the chat. And I do see a super chat straight away. Wish you well by Ryan Kern. Ryan, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you, bro. Really appreciate you. Yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, I got my, um, I got my, for those people that know about my health, I actually have my three month meeting or three month appointment with my hematologist tomorrow. Um, so far, so good. Feeling good. Feeling great. I started working out, started boxing again in my home gym. I do have a home gym. And when I say home gym, I don't mean just a little room with like a, like a couple of weights. I mean a home gym. <laughs> so I am starting to work out again. And yeah, it's, it's, it's actually interesting. Plus, plus, check this out. I'm on TRT. I'm on hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy. Bad news. My, my test was tanked. It was like shit. Um, I, will, I had all the symptoms you can possibly think of. When I say I'm shit, like the people that get prescribed testosterone, I was like way lower than that, right? So nothing worked down there, uh, but also I had a lot of issues. Now, there was a lot of pain, a lot of stuff associated with the therapy. Turns out a lot of that was lack of testosterone. So now I'm on TRT. Um, let's see how that works out. But so far, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm boxing again. I'm doing shit. So let's see how that works. Full transparency, as I said, on this channel. You can't get more transparent than me, okay? You can't get more transparent than someone on YouTube and crypto saying his dick didn't work. I literally told you my dick wasn't working. <laughs> you can't get more transparent than that. Let me turn on the air conditioner real quick, one second. I am in Greece with a short winter and it does get hot. So give me a second. Let me just turn this on. But yeah. So there... <laughs> <laughs> Paul the man, the myth, the legend by the kid calm. How are you doing, kid calm? My dude from another brood, broad, brood. Thanks for your time streaming today. You're very welcome, bullish on parade. Greetings from I'm Bat. Awesome man. Troy McDrains, shout out to him. Cast some light on V Chain. I told you not to get into V Chain. I told you that V Chain. Um, I told you before, I told you in the last bull market that it's not going to do that well. Maybe it will do well in this bull market. And in the beginning of this bull market, I just said that the narrative is not there. I, I like VeChain as a concept. I like it. The narrative is not there right now. Uh, why would you get into something like that? Even though it's a good project when you have opportunity cost because you're losing money when it comes to AI, when it comes to gaming, when it comes to Bitcoin ecosystem, when it comes to Deepin, whatever, RWA if you want. Why? Mm, I love this. Green mocktail. No alcohol, no sugar, just pomegranate, ginger, and lime. It's fucking amazing. Good morning, the three idiots. Submit about three idiots. I always wonder, man, are you one person or are you like three people watching? Like, do, do you count for like three subscribers or do you count for one subscriber? <laughs> really wondering. <laughs> Good morning, Angela. Good. Okay, well, lots of good. Good evening, fellow future millionaires coming from Glen. Good to everybody on the stream. Appreciate that. Afghanistan says, hi, sir. How do you see Solana? Is it the best time to invest? Not so sure if it's the best time to invest since I told you to get in at $10. But I do think Solana would be nice if you could just get a little bit of Solana in. Just buy some right now. Yes, right now in case of the break breakout. Why not? If, you know, if you're asking this question, you don't know how to trade. So there's no point in me telling you how to trade or calling levels because you're going to forget them or understand them. So let's just do this. Buy some Solana now. If it goes down, buy some more. If it goes up, it's okay. Use the, re the rest of that money. We're going to invest into Solana into something else. Does that make sense? Hey, Paulie, what's up? Rene Montenegro, my man, three idiots. Hey, Paul. Do you think Fetch at 3.15 Ajax, blah, 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 is still a buy even they had a great run? Yes, I do. 
I missed the train. Yeah, but now there's a partnership coming in, which is extremely bullish. They're going to make the ASI token and actually partner with together, actually become one token in order to rival mainstream AI and actually take market share. So with that said, I think that's extremely powerful. Just on that news alone, people are going to be buying it, so expect a pump. But also the projects have been doing well so far, so you got that. And you got that news, that piece of news. So yeah, I would get into fetch. Uh, any chance I would get, I would get into fetch an Ajax, and I have been. So keep that in mind. Also, do I think chain GPT? Look, if you're going long term towards the end of this year as a first base of when this bull market will end, bear with me, then chain GPT is a good buy as well. Look, we can look at charts, we can, I can give you calls and everything like that, and we do that in my private group as well. But why, it's still like 20 days before the Bitcoin halving. Even if we go down, chances are these projects are going to go back up and go up higher. So if you want to get into chain GPT, just do what I told um, uh, Af uh, Afghanistan about how to get into Solana, do the same thing. Because these are good projects, they're going to do very well. Chain GPT is um, a launch pad for AI. As long as AI remains a narrative or people are bullish in AI, people are going to want to get to in early on projects. They're going to buy ChainGPT. It's a CDFI. It's the CDFI of AI, right? So ChainGPT, I'm extremely bullish on. So yes, you can get into ChainGPT. And I do think it's a strong buy, even if it's uh, 40. Uh, it, it's fine. Even if it goes down a little bit, you could buy some more, in my honest opinion. But yeah, as for the narrative of the bull market may... So I have a theory that the... And it's still a theory. I'm not 100% on it or anything. But I do believe the top of Bitcoin will be in end of 2024, beginning 2025. Altcoins might perform a little bit longer. But I think there may be a shorter bull market. Have I confirmed this? No. We'll talk about it when we get closer to that time. But there is a chance we'll have a shorter bull market. Let's see. But that is not to say that we're not going to have massive, massive profits. And it's not to say that this may change. But we need to at least, our strategy should be around this. So if we have at least till the end of the year, it's a good buy. It's a good buy to buy change of BT, Ajax and Fetch right now, right? Does that make sense? Hey, Paul, the legend. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, Hassan. Brother Paul. Will gold and Bitcoin go up at the same time or will we get a drop in Bitcoin? So I don't know if you, um, not sure you know this, but I'm not exactly a prophet. All right? Just because I have a bald head and it looks like a crystal ball does not mean I have one or it works in such ways. What I am going to tell you is Bitcoin is going to go up and gold is, is going to go up. More than likely, I'm bullish on Bitcoin, bullish on gold, based on charts, based on timing, based on fundamentals, based on macros, based on everything you can possibly imagine. I'm bullish on both. Okay? So, yes, they will go up. Will they go up at the same time? Will Bitcoin have a crash? First of all, Bitcoin's going to have a couple of more crashes, 20 to 40% by the end of the year. It's going to do it. It's going to do it a couple of times. I told you it's going to happen last time. People were saying, oh, it's just fudding, 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 even though I'm the most bullish person in, on Bitcoin on YouTube. Oh, it's fud. Bitcoin actually went down 18%. Excuse me, I missed 2%. I said 20% to 40. Sue me. All right. But I, I do think we're going to have a couple of more dips or pullbacks in Bitcoin. 20 to 40% happens in every bull market, will happen in this bull market. And as soon as you hear people saying, it's not going to happen because this time is different, it's going to happen. Okay, so there is chance to buy lower, but you don't want to wait for that either, right? You don't want to wait for that either because what happens if it doesn't come through or if you don't time it or it happens overnight? So what you want to do, you want to start getting in and that's what you want to do, basically. Over 40 Texas, what's up, man? How are you? How are you, my friend? Don't sleep on Moki, any Inu ticker AI. Uh, nice shill, bro. <laughs> Do they pay you for that marketing or are you from the company? You, you, you guys must have a great CMO. Your marketing director? Perfect, man. Mm. I don't see Snake in the meme coin watch list. Are you out? No, I am not out. I, good question. Uh, very good question. I wasn't showing you the watch list. Um, give me a second here. This is my main. This is where I have most, like, more money is into these projects so to speak then your meme coins is here this is the meme coins i'm watching 
And then look, if I go to small positions, what? Oh, there it is, snack, boom. So yes, I'm in snack, I'm holding it. I don't care if it goes down, I don't care if it goes up. One of those holdings, just not mentioning it because, okay, it's not doing that well. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still in it, but I'm not like relying on it or it's not one of my main, it's an insignificant amount of money. It, generally speaking, I think I have like $500, $600 worth. I mean, okay. Okay, Troy McDrains, I stopped diversification. I stopped diversification and went heavy about four um, into about four. I know we'll do well. That can create wealth at a much higher risk. It depends. Look, it's fine. It depends on uh, the amount of money you're invested in. If you are invested with five hundred thousand into four cryptocurrencies, I think that's too 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 small. If you have five thousand or ten thousand. Um, or, or a little bit more in four cryptocurrencies, I think that's great. It all depends. Even though I would I would hold a small amount, even if it's like a few hundred dollars, just saying, into moonshot projects, if you will, just saying. Oh, let's see here. Hey, Paul, good to see you, man. Bald head looking good today. Yeah, it's randomness. It's shiny. It's shiny. I, as I said, I went to a massage. I went to a massage today. Uh, yesterday... We chilled at the house. The day before, we went to the beach. I had my first swim in March. And the day before that, or was it last week, I went to a spa in Lutraki. We had another massage, but that one sucked. It was overpriced. It was complete shit. The one today was okay. Um, what's your thoughts on cat? Meow. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about cat. You, like, like, seriously. Like, oh, like themed coins like Popcat, Lemieux, will these get as big as... No, I don't think so. No, I do not think so. No, I don't recommend buying them. I do recommend maybe trading them if you know what you're doing. I have a webinar in the description down below for you to watch. It's free. I do uh, recommend trading them. I don't recommend investing as in holding them, if that makes sense. Thoughts on, oh wow, wait a minute, so, so wait, wait, I didn't know this. So, um, Ryan, this is your third super chat, dude. Thank you so much, really appreciate it, man, really appreciate it. That's pretty cool. YouTube actually told me it's your third super chat, that's awesome. Thoughts on Cosmos Atom this bull cycle? Perfect question, glad you asked. I am bullish as in I'm staking, not for APY, but for airdrops. And when it comes to airdrops, this is my staking portfolio. Of course, I have a few more that don't show up because they're not on the crypto bubbles or I've neglected. But if you noticed, most of them are on the Cosmos ecosystem. Say, Atom, Tia, Osmo, um, uh, Python and Solana. But yeah, and there's a few more uh, that I was, in, I was also stak staking Injective, Stargaze, um, one more, I can't remember where it was. I actually got out of those positions. I might even get out of say, not because I don't think they're good, not because I don't think they're going to do airdrops, but I want to add more allocation to Osmo, Cosmos, um, Tia maybe, and so and Dime, Dim, whatever it's called, Dimension, and so on. Just because I think a bigger allocation will give you more airdrops, makes more sense, and I don't want to be running around uh, after every single airdrop. It's getting too tiring and stupid. So... Now that everything is happening fast, I don't want to be in too many projects with airdrops. I'm going to miss a few. I, it's overwhelming. I don't give a shit about it. I'd rather have less and get more if that makes sense. And if I miss a few, good. I can have peace of mind and not be chasing after uh, coins all the time or all day. Do, 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 do. Thought, okay. Hey, Paul, love what you are doing. What do you think about Render? I think it's great. It's a gaming plus uh, AI play. And I think it's doing great. I think it's the blue chip. And I think you should be holding in your portfolio. Do you think it can go higher? Yes. A lot of people think, oh, it rolls too much. And it won't get too much higher. We already went up 10, 20, 50x. It can go a lot higher, dude. Like, people, don't, people think too linearly. Okay? It can go a lot higher. All right? So, a lot of people sell because they think something went too high. I make calls about coins all the time on my channel. 
for example, Orange or SNS or whatever. Like, oh, you should have told us 10 X ago, which I did. If you look at my videos before that, I did. But I made it again because I think it can go a lot higher. Oh, it already did 10 X. Ha, ha, ha. Clown. Meanwhile, we're making fortunes here. And they're laughing at their own shit. And they, they're probably broke as fuck. Listen, I, I, I'm not... I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's the testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> um, you need to uh, <laughs> I'm noticing a lot more energy by the way okay so I speak a lot faster so my my, my, my thoughts come out my head a lot faster I'm stu stuttering less I just stuttered it was funny crazy um, but yeah so um, maybe I swear now and then okay but yeah I see a lot of stupid posts uh, and comments in my comments section oh you just what are you talking about ha 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 you're an idiot yeah okay let's see well <laughs> believe this shit is legit yes sir meanwhile the XRP army still waiting for a pump <laughs> and, and this is, the most comments I get is an XRP uh, videos and it's funny because they they, they they go to old videos and they, they don't realize they don't look at the date and they go to old videos like ha you're wrong look at you now you clown ha 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 or or ha ha it's gonna go up next week ha ha this video didn't age well and it's like two three years ago one year ago six months ago and, and XRP hasn't done shit since then uh, you will see <laughs> we will see you will see <laughs> you're gonna get wrecked Meanwhile, I'm t if you know any people like this, seriously, uh, this is not a joke. Send them to, here, send them to saveandxrpmaxi.com. This is a real website. All right, give a shirt, help a maxi. I actually, I actually created this website. And really, we try to make a difference by giving the maxis, the XRP maxis that lost their shirt in the last bull market and probably in this one, we try to give them a shirt, okay? This is an XRP Maxi I found, okay? As you can see, he has no ice cream. He's holding a switch, all right? And he has no shirt. I actually gave him a shirt. And we do have shirts coming out where you can actually buy a shirt and the proceeds will go to buy. If you buy one shirt, we give a, 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 a Maxi a shirt. And also, we're going to have um, um, XRP Anonymous here. And we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. So check this site out. This is a real site. You can actually donate to the site. There's donations here. You can actually donate. You can even donate XRP, which is recommended. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, look, you want XRP? <laughs> Read the description. <laughs> but yeah. Boy, you crazy. Love you, man. I love you too, bro. Thoughts on Multibit? I don't really have any thoughts on Multibit. What gives better profits, Merlin or Sonorous? Ooh, good question. I have no idea. I think you should be holding both. Merlin Swap, if you're talking about Merlin Swap, I actually am an early investor. Um, I think Merlin Swap's going to do very well, and it is doing very well. But Sonorous is an AI play. It's very different. It's not on the Bitcoin chain, right? And that's got music with AI, which I really like. So I'm bullish on both. That's why I'm holding both. I am holding a lot more Sonorous because I have like seven nodes or eight nodes, excuse me, eight nodes, which I'm also staking and amplifying rewards. Now it's getting a bit too cold in here. Let me just make this a little bit. There you go. So yeah, both. Bold off. <laughs> Bro, why are you so bold? <laughs> I used to have high testosterone. That's why I'm bold. Hope you're this <laughs> So do I, man. But let me tell you something. It comes with old age as well, right? Like, 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 like. Seriously speaking, it used to be so much easier when I'm 46 years old. I've been through cancer three times, okay. Um, but even still, when you get older, it doesn't work as it used to be, right? I mean, I mean, when I was younger, I remember, I remember, I used to like walk down the street and get a hard on. Like, like seriously, he was just look at hey, what's going on. What's going on now, now in in school holy shit i i, I used to not want to get up because i used to have constantly a hard on i used to i used to beg the teacher not to you know i'm like oh please don't call me please don't call me right because now it's different now it doesn't get up and now it tries tries to look it's like it just falls down you have to like drag it out of bed <laughs> hey baby give a cpr <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. 
Paul, your thoughts about Beam? I'm, I trade Beam. I'm not in Beam. Too many crypto YouTubers shilling it all the time. So it goes up and down and up. I'm, I'm not going to mention names. I don't feel like it today. Um, but yeah, there, there, there's too much shilling going on. So I trade it. I don't, I don't hold it. What's up, Mattel? How far do you think Sudas could go? Very, very far. I'm not going to get a price prediction because that's horse shit because no one knows. Seriously, there's no technical analysis on new coins. If there's no price history, there's no TA. Okay, so all these people doing technical analysis and everything, oh, it's going to go up with the Fibonacci. It's bullshit. There's no price fucking history. Okay? The only reason they do that is because either they don't know any better or they're, or they're doing it just because they, they need it for content for their channel because that's what they talk about. Okay? But most YouTubers don't know what the shit fuck all they're talking about when it comes to TA. But I, I, like, I know I'm swearing a bit too much today, but, but there's certain things that piss me off, and this is one of them. Okay? So, we don't know how high it's going to go. It's constantly in blue sky breakout. <laughs> that blue sky breakout means price discovery. If something is constantly in price discovery, that what well, you think is going to have price discovery in like a week? No, it's going to keep on going up. So, you still have time to buy it. And as it goes up 10, 20, 30x possibly, take profits as it goes up accordingly. That's the name of the game. Your head so bald reminds me, you remind me of Johnny Sins. <laughs> bald and bankrupt. <laughs> no, I'm the, I'm, I'm the crypto version of bald and bankrupt. I, I'm bald and wrecked. <laughs> Have you checked out Aether? No, I don't like Aether that much. No, I don't, I don't, I'll take that back. It's not that I don't like Aether. Again, too much shilling. Can't get in every single project. Trying to chase projects and get into everything, you kind of like miss what's important. Uh, I'm good. My AI deep in portfolio is fucking exceptional. I don't need to look at every other. I can look at new projects that come out or, or projects that can get in early on or if I see something fascinating. But that, but but what's the difference if I get into Aether or or, or Sonorous or or um, some other out uh, some other AI coin, Citus, whatever. Well, like, mm. No. Any thoughts on ABT? Nope. I don't know what ABT is. AVAX price predictions up will meet all-time highs, challenge it, and if it breaks, it can pull out a Solana-like move. When I say Solana-like move, I don't mean overtake Solana. I mean, it can do very well. You'll be happy. You should be in AVAX. Should I sell pixels? No, I think you should be buying pixels. What about your favorite XRP? Just talked about it. Just showed you the website. You said Sonoris was going to go X more, but I got minus 30%. Well, when did you buy it, dude? Because most of us, when we called it, it went up like crazy. Well, like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. But you, sure, I, I'm still holding my Sonorous. My group is still holding my so, our Sonorous. I think it's going to go up and it, there's risk and everything. Um, but if you see a video and I tell you it's going to go up and it does and you don't take profits or you don't understand it, stay out of crypto, dude. Don't, don't blame me for, for shit. <laughs> I called it, I called it a 10, cent, a 10 cents or so, right? So wait. SNS coin. Let's have a look, shall we? Because I don't like it when people talk shit. And I'm not, I'm not like, when I say talk shit, I'm not attacking you here. Bear with me, okay? I'm just going to put things in perspective. This is the sonorous chart, right? It's a, okay. It's at 0, uh, 12. We called it around 10 cents. And we called it before 10 cents as well. Uh, can't remember the level. You can look back at my videos. It went all up to 20. I told you in that video to take profits at 20 fucking cents, literally told you to take profits at 20 cents and then let the profits run. Watch the video. <laughs> and if you didn't watch that video, that's not my fault. If you watch the other, that's not my fault. If you watch the interview and not the other video, and then you're blaming me for what? So, okay, we have a pullback here. We need to establish the support, right? It met all time highs, went above, went down. Let's see if it rechallenges. I think it will. Take profits at 20 cents. If it comes back down, then you can decide to buy more. But take profits or your initial investment right now. I'm giving you a play right now. Buy now. Take profits at 20 cents, right? Or your initial investment. Let the rest run whether it goes up or down. That's the play. Okay? That is my play right now. Okay? This is financial advice. Now, that said... That does not mean I'm going to be blamed if just because I made the call. I might be wrong. Do you, you, you know, don't, don't fucking bet on this coin with money that you, you, you can't lose. You shouldn't be in crypto with money that you can't lose. Th does that make sense? You shouldn't be doing that. 
But the play here is that. Why am I making this play? Very simple. Knowing what I know, and because the last time I made the call worked out, things have a tendency to repeat. And what I'm seeing here is a potential support. I'm seeing potential support. So I think this is gonna repeat, okay? Do with this information what you will. And by the way, because I said this is financial advice, I forgot I might be moving to the United States of America one day. You never know. If you are in the States and you talk about this stuff, you have to say it's financial advice, not financial advice and so on. If you where I am, it doesn't really matter. But that said, coming from one of the most beautiful ladies in Bitcoin, to be honest with you. Oh, shit, my video's not working. Give me one second here. Hey, guys, I'm Bertha Fans. Remember, Paul is not a financial advisor, but he is good looking. Also, this is not financial advice. Please subscribe down below and check out my channel at Bertha Fans. There you go. So what about Gala? I told you to get out of Gala because it's too much drama. Too much drama when it comes to Gala. There are other gaming coins such as G Swift, Miria. I told you to get into those. Uh, Pixels and so on are doing great. Too much drama in Gala. When it comes to Mana. <laughs> When it comes to mana, mana is great. I'm actually holding mana. Why am I holding mana? And this goes for sand as well. At some point, Metaverse, Metaverse will pump. The two biggest projects in Metaverse is mana and sand. Institutional money and big money will go into these two projects first. If it goes to one of the projects, the other one has to counter. They have to get into both platforms. And once companies start getting in and talking about it, other companies have to also, also follow suit, even if they think they're going to lose their money because they don't want to miss market share. Meaning, if if Adidas gets into Mana, just as an example, I think they may even be in there already. But if Adidas gets into um, Mana, then guess what? Puma will also need to get into Mana. Why? Because if Adidas is right, they're going to miss market share. Meanwhile, news is coming out. They need to top that news. It's a business play. Does that make sense? It's a business play. When Metaverse pumps, both these coins will pump, in my in my opinion. That's my theory. Arbitrum, I think, is lost market share to other cur currencies. They have a good product. Uh, I, I use, I have Foxify on Arbitrum. It's made me a lot of money, uh, but I think they've lost to other layer twos or other solutions. But we'll see. Good stuff, Paul. Thanks for the great content. Thank you very much, Sparky. Good, st Sparky. <laughs> Moonsan says, Siago, what's up, Siago? Ha, 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 uh, no, I'm not involved in Moki and in, okay, fine, cool, cool. Oh, you're bullish on base. Okay, so I didn't know the coin, man. Uh, just the way you wrote it seemed a lot like uh, a company wrote it. By the way, like, hit the like button. Hit the like button if you're having a good time. If this is fun, if anything, if you're getting any good value, if you are, if you are having fun, if this is entertaining, Please hit the like button. I'm not going to beg. Gonna, Please, man, hit the like. No, no I don't want to do that like other influencers. Just hit the like button for support if that makes sense. XRP could get a lot of t-shirts with that sick lawsuit. Probably, man. Oh, man, where was I? What up, Paul? Hope you are doing well. I am Jason. Shiba will eat dogs. Nah. Ribbit of Solana, the only frog of Solana. Oh, everyone's talking about... Let me go up. I went too low. I went too low. I went to the meme coin shilling section. I think there's more up here. Uh, where was I? Moonsun, there you go. How are you, brother? I'm doing good, Thiago. Thank you very much. What do you think will be the duration of the magnitude of the upcoming alt season? So alt seasons are very different as well. And the reason alt seasons are very different right now is because basically, uh, as I explained earlier on, retail is not here yet. It's just the whales pumping meme coins, taking your money. That's why we're seeing shorter mini altcoins, which we called, by the way, perfectly on this channel a couple of times, and we had them. And you're seeing rotation of this money going around in crypto and a little bit of new money coming in to these alts. So altcoin season is different just because Bitcoin's a bit different because it's run up faster, but we will see alt season. Thank you for the thank you, Andrew. Really appreciate you for saying it's an excellent stream. How do you feel about deep in narrative? I think it's good, but I think it's overhyped. I prefer AI, but there are some deep in projects out there which I'm in, which I mentioned earlier on. Do you know about Axler? Yes, I do, but not enough to talk about it. Meaning I'll be talking out my ass, which is something I don't like doing, especially when my girlfriend's around or the people around, because it tends to smell. 
It's a fart joke. It was a stupid fart joke. <laughs> I wish I didn't say the fart joke. Let me drink some potion here. AIOs is a coin I get in and out of. I buy, I take profits, I buy, I take profits. All in all, I think it's trajectory up, and I think it's a good play. Angela. AGI has been con consolidating lately. Well, yeah, we called it a 0, 0.0. We called AGI at 0 0.03 cents, okay? And we called their node, which more than doubled, all right? So if it's been going up consistently since 0 0.03 cents, it needs to consolidate for a while. It's actually bullish as long as it keeps that level range, and it, and it, and it is. Don't need to show you the charts. It is, <laughs> right? ICP targets. I do not have ICP targets, nor do I have ICP. Do you stay away from ICO projects? I don't think there are any ICOs in the sense of ICOs anymore. I do get into as a seed investor or KOL as a YouTuber. Sometimes we have um, allocation. I actually made a video about it, how they're scamming you too. But if you do it right, it's actually good when it comes to real projects. You don't just shill everything for the sake of shilling it. But uh, I do get into projects early, and I do talk about them, and I always, always disclose this, okay? So before people say, oh, man, you just shilling. No, shilling is not disclosing. Shilling is acting like you're not marketing them. If you are marketing a project and you disclose it, you're not shilling. Learn the difference because I get a lot of people talking shit about shilling, and they don't even know what it means. Just like wrecked. I spell wrecked R-E-K-T. And oh, you're spelling it wrong. You can't even spell wrecked. It's, it's spelled R-E-C-K-E-D, which it's not. It's actually with W-R, if you want to get, but, but that's not the point. Wrecked is an abbreviation in crypto, just like HODL, H-O-D-L. And no, it does not mean hold on for dear life. It's a typo someone made when he put on just hold and it came out HODL and hold on for dear life came after, which wasn't the original meaning of how HODL came out, right? So anyway, uh, let's have a look here. What's up, Paul? Hope you're doing well. Yes, Jason, I am. Thank you. Zaid, my man, what are the current blue chips and should they 5x? I think 3 to 5x, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Render, IMX. They had an unlock recently. Uh, Link, haven't seen that yet. Uh, what other ones? Fetch, obviously, they're going to do the IS, uh, ASI token with Ajax. These are the blue chips, in, in my opinion. There's a few more. Do you have any info about Orange DX? No, I do not. I talked about Orange, though. I was one of the first channels to talk about Orange and tell you to get in. Uh, also, one of those allocation videos I had, but I was insisting on it because I really believe in it, and I still believe in it, and I'm still insisting on, uh, insisting on it because Orange, O-R-N-J, is a great coin. Okay, man, I bought when you uploaded the interview, not the first video, so it's okay, I'm holding. Thank you, profs, thank you. Just wanted to clarify things, because a lot of people, you know, they attack me in comments and they attack things they don't understand, and it gets to the point where I get, I'm a human being, right? I get frustrated too sometimes. Um, your testosterone is very high. It's actually going down, because I, I was given 250 MUs or whatever they're called every two weeks. It's been a week, but, but you ha so it's already going down. Um, I'm going to try and get it a weekly base, but that said, uh, Paul, how come you know so much about steroids? <laughs> but, but the thing is that, um, because I was so low, even the fact that it's going down, I still have more testosterone. So I, so I have more energy. Finally, I have energy. I can do these. I don't know if you remember not too long ago, I couldn't get through a live stream. Right, I used to like almost fall asleep and lose my concentration, and everything on live stream because I was going through cancer. I just got out of cancer therapy and everything like that. I could not do shit. Like I don't know if you guys remember, um, it, it was an insane time. But I, I, I tried to do as much as I can. Um, now is I can I can go on for another hour. I'm not, <laughs> but I can go for another. Like I feel a lot better. I, I did boxing today, worked out. We went swimming uh, a few days ago, a couple days ago. I walked my dog longer. My dog's happy now because he's getting longer walks like we used to, right? It's good stuff. Balance AI, similar to with Ben Sisser, still early. I, that's something to look into. I don't know much about it. Got it, man. Take profits, 20 cents, simple. Yep, but uh, or your initial investment, let, let the rest ride. 
Don't move to the USA. Yeah, I'm just saying, you never know, so that's why I said it. Uh, I'm an, uh, 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 you know, the United States might take over the world, which they already did take over the world, but my, one day they might actually be like um, the universal government. And, uh, you know, my old YouTube videos where I say, oh, I'm not, I have to say I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. <laughs> I'm an early investor in Miria. Thoughts on it? I love Miria, man. I was one of the first channels to talk about it. Congrats. Good evening. And it can go a lot higher, by the way. Good evening, bro. Paul, what's up? Me and me and me. I haven't seen you for a while, man. What's your take with Cello? I have no idea about Cello. I'm sorry. I'm going to disappoint you. Kale, hit the like button if you think Paul is cute like my... Oh, thank you so much, Kale. Hope you're a girl. But if you're not, thank you. I still appreciate you. But yeah, send me a pic. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Paul, there is a B cut in BitCrunch. Is it, I don't know what that is. Definitely excellent entertainment. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You're right, Greedy. That's how I lost my opportunity. Hey Carlos, it happens, man. It happens to the best of us. Very important issue. Thanks for talking about it. Cool, man. You, you, you know, people do this a lot. And it's the herd mindset. And this is why most people don't become successful. 95% of people don't become successful in life. Okay, very few, well, 4% less get into the 1%. And this is because even though they make the right moves, their mindset is not in the right place. And they just, don't forget that habits, okay, let me, let me put it this way. Your character, you, you as a person, you as an entity, your character is the accumulation of habits you do every day, right? So you are your habits. So if you start getting into a gambler's mindset, and start wanting shit fast, that's what you're training yourself to do, that becomes your character, you become your character, right? So you don't wanna do that, you wanna look out for that, okay? So that's why most people are unsuccessful, get your mindset right first. A lot of people think they become rich and that's how they get the mindset, that's how they become cool people after. No, you have to have the mindset before that, right? Have you looked at GPU? Yeah, I don't like it. GPU network. Uh, let me tell you about GTB. And I'm not, Cal, I'm, Cal, I'm not being negative on GP, uh, GP, uh, G, uh, GPU network. Here's the problem I have with GPU network. A lot of influencers are shilling it because they're getting paid. I know this for a fact. Okay? And it's not a bad thing. Marketing is great. But it reminds me a lot of cloud mining, which went to complete shit. Now, people are going to say it's different, this, that. Yeah, fine. Okay, maybe it's different. The problem is... I don't like the model. And the other problem is too many people are talking to me about it. I got a call from somebody that watches this channel in Greece, which is a friend of mine, telling me about it. Not all people, it's not that easy for a lot of people to become rich at the same time. So either it's gonna go up then dump or not do as expected in my opinion. Now, might be wrong, haven't looked into it, just because I don't like the model doesn't mean it's not gonna do well or well on hype, right? I mean, we talked about this before. So it can still do very well, so don't let me get you out of it. Just do your own research and be careful, that's what I'm saying. What's your opinion on KuCoin fined by the USA? Is it still, no, hey, look, so KuCoin got fined, they have money, they'll pay, in general though, a lot of people were panicked. I'm gonna talk about something that's more important here. And I also want to talk about news from YouTubers at this point because it's disgusting what they're doing, okay? And again, I'm not going to mention names. But I'm going to show you a couple of things. People were panicking to get their money out of KuCoin and the money wasn't coming through. It was taking too long. They were panicking even more because of all the overload of everyone trying to get their money out of KuCoin. You're not supposed to have money on any exchange that makes you panic. If you have a $500,000 portfolio, Ten, twenty thousand dollars in KuCoin, you wouldn't give a shit. Ten thousand dollars, you wouldn't really. You would give a shit, but you wouldn't give a shit. You wouldn't lose sleep over it. You only keep there what you are willing to trade or something that you're gonna trade. And if it's gonna be long term, you're gonna trade in six months. Get it out of the exchange. I, I, I can't emphasize this enough. I keep on saying this. Now, talking about news, and this is because this is disgusting. I, I, I really am ashamed a lot of times for people that do this. And there's a couple of YouTubers that do this. And it's not their fault, it's that they're stupid. And, and, and I'm not saying that as a diss. I'm not saying, oh, they're stupid, go for No, they, they literally are stupid and they don't realize. You know what the Dunning-Kruger effect is, right? You're too stupid to realize you're stupid, okay? So they talk about shit they don't understand and they talk about events they don't understand and they panic everybody, but it's unresponsible. So let me show you something here. And I'm just looking, at, for example, for example, for example, all right, let me go back a little bit. Here you go. 
Whew. Update. Crypt Everybody was saying the crypto bollocks were banned in Europe. Oh, you're going to ban it in Europe and you're going to do this. And they were look, reading the text and they don't even know how to apparently fucking read. So look. Crypto wallets are not banned in Europe. I had to make this post. I even made a video about it. I reached out to Kevin Merck of Coin Metro because, again, something about Dunning Kruger, I'm going to tell you a little secret. When you're too confident about something, it's a sign that you might be wrong. So, intel the more if you're fully 100% confident about something, then chances you're, you're suffering from the Dunning Kruger effect, and dumb people do that. So, me being 100%. Um, uh, certain about something, I had to reach out to an expert just in case I got something wrong, just in case. So whenever I, I'm 100% I'm on something, I'm like, whoa, Paul, wait a second. Dunning-Kruger says, and Dunning-Kruger, by the way, I don't know if you know this, everyone says Dunning-Kruger like it's one person. It's actually two psychologists in 1993, Dunning and Kruger, which talked about the Dunning-Kruger, okay? You get it. So whenever I'm overconfident, I think to myself, wait a minute, Paul, Dunning-Kruger, you're stupider than you think. Reach out, find out if you, what you're going to say is true. So that's what I did. But before that, I actually made the post. It turned out I was right, but that's beside the point. So I reached out to Kevin Marco of Coin Metro. By the way, if you don't know, I used to be the marketing director of Coin Metro, a fully regulated and licensed crypto in exchange in Estonia. And the ban is essentially if you are a centralized service, such as an exchange or wallet provider, such as Coinbase Wallet, BitGo, Coin Metro, etc., that you cannot allow people to withdraw deposit from wallets that are unnamed. Not it's got nothing to do with your own wallets and your own custody and stuff like that. Nothing to do with your MetaMask or whatever or not allowing to have your own thing. And the ban has got nothing to do with send me sending you transactions. I can send you as much as I want. No one can stop me, okay? This has already been in place with a travel rule. Yes, it has. When funds come in, you have to identify the wallet or state it's your friends or whatever you want to call it. Um, depending on the policies of the exchange, those funds are accepted or not. That's what basically what happens. They can't just come out from a wallet that isn't identified. That's what this is talking about. But this will take three years to implement, and they need to find a way to police this because it's virtually impossible. Okay? So basically, and this is my post right here. Boom. This is eight days ago before I reached out. Stop panicking about self-custody wallets being banned in Europe. While that's bad, that's not exactly the case. From what I understand, payments, yeah, so I talk about it here, right? And you can read this here, okay? So essentially, they're talking about shit they don't understand. Everybody was in a panic. It's disgusting. I can name a few big YouTubers that were talking about this. And not only that, a few days after, I had to make this post. I'm going to try and get this out before the crypto YouTubers and influence start spreading misinformation about things they don't understand again, which they did. Coinbase didn't lose against the SEC. The case just, just got dismissed. That's all it means. It got dismissed. We knew that already. There was a 5% chance it wouldn't get dismissed. <laughs> Maybe less. What's wrong with this? Stop listening to idiots. And yes, I'm calling them idiots because I don't have a problem. There's one thing shilling a coin that you're wrong about or, or talking about a coin that you're wrong about or making it, which is bad in itself. If you don't understand what you're talking about, doing technical analysis with no price history, for example, which is complete horseshit. Or talking about shit you don't understand and making people panic for no reason. If you don't understand it, shut the fuck up or at least make sure you understand it first. And if you think you understand it, reach out to somebody that does understand it and stop trying to show off like it's your own information. And they have this look like they, 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 they you know, they, they, they think they, 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 they look like they know what they're talking about. Hit the, hit the like button, you know, you know, and they, and they, and they analyze and talk about your rights and why this is bad. And, and it's got nothing to do with what they're saying. It's, it's, I've gone on for tangent. Let me, let me go back here. Next meme coin, meta narrative, cross chain color, boys narrative, Andy, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's going on. I don't get it. Just, I think it's just a shilling of meme coins. Get injections twice a week. Yeah, no, I'm going to do... Um, I'm probably going to do it every week. I don't want to be doing it every uh, twice a week. It's too much for me. Once a week is fine. And then uh, we'll take it from there. Some people are good with once a week. Twice a week makes more sense. Yes, I understand this. But I'm doing it every two weeks now. We're doing my blood measurement. I'll try and do it every week and we'll take it from there and see. It takes time.
It takes time because over time things might change. So you have to look at it, see how you respond. Everybody responds differently. So we'll see. Love the channel. Us bald dads got to stick together. Which will the Tet or Ordi? I would hold Ordi instead of Tet. And it's funny you ask that, Bullish on Parade, because I actually sold my Tet a few days ago and got more into Ordi. So, and that's why you didn't see it in my... Um, I, thought, I forgot to talk about this, by the way. That's why you didn't see it in my main portfolio on screen earlier on. I actually got out of Tet. Not that I can't do better, but I got out of Tet and got more into Ordi because it made more sense. Should we buy now or after the dip? How about before and after since you don't know? Because if you're asking this question, you don't know what to look at and you're waiting for me to tell you, why not buy some now and then after the dip? And that way, if the dip comes after you double your money, it makes sense. Uh, okay, understandable. I'm on... Ah, the little heart button. Is... Oh, I'm on it myself. Cool, awesome. All right, hit that like button. Please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Um, also, subscribe down below if you had fun, if you got value, and if you like this live stream. Affin or Wilder World? I don't know what Affin is. I did talk about Wild, Wilder World, Wilder World a long time ago. Um, so I will just choose Wilder World. Dimitris Karalopoulos. Karalopoulos. Sorry about that. Amazing life once again. All season very close. Maybe matter of days. Yeah, thank you very much. Really appreciate you. Can't wait to see you in coaching again, man. I've got a lot of people on the stream coming in that we do coaching together. We have so much fun. They're in the VIP group. Check out the VIP. Look, guys, check out the VIP group down below. It's not like other VIP groups on YouTube. It's $49 a month. And it just gives you so much. It just gives you so much value. Everybody has made money in my, uh, my um, uh, VIP group, which is why 99% of them are still there. And we have fun. We're like a family, right? We, we have so much fun. It's, it's crazy. Best AI coin to buy right now. Watch my AI coin videos. Hit the like button. I love you all. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you all. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.